Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, Leo, happy birthday. Welcome. Well, in tropical astrology, right? If you follow tropical astro astrology, we're in Leo season now as of July 1st. Sorry, August 1st. <laughs> this is her August, yes? Um... Anyway, uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, this is August 2020. Um, uh, but keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So this could resonate for you at any moment. Um, and also keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So Leo, Leo, you've got some really good energies around you right now. Um, and actually, I, I mean, I resonate with Leo energy also, um, either it's my moon sign or it's my rising sign, depending on which system you go with. And I like to stay trop, I like to stay sidereal, right? So I'm a Leo rising sidereal. Um, and, and, and so uh, there's been, I, I want to say what spirit is saying right now, originally off, right off the bat, there is a lot of good energy around you, Leo. If you've been one of those Leos, that's really been doing your self work. Okay. Um, so already I have your pre-shuffle here Leo um, you have the Hierophant you have the Queen of Cups and you have the Sun that's you that's you Leo showing up right there because the Sun uh, the, the Sun rules Leo right and then you have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands so What I really feel like this, oh, and I'm sorry, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress, okay? So, Leo, what I'm getting for you so far is that love is in the air for you, uh, divine union is coming your way, a divine partnership is coming your way, Ma <clears throat> marriage could be coming your way. I'm trying to understand what this Hierophant energy is speaking to here, um, and I kind of get that with the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, and the Sun, part of this inner work that you've been doing um, has been shining a light on who you truly are. You've been really getting down to your to your emotions. You're really starting to understand your emotions. Um, and as a, if you're a Leo rising like me, um, and I'm speaking in terms of sidereal astrology, if you're a Leo Leo rising like myself, you can have very intense emotions. And that doesn't make you bad or wrong or many people called me bipolar. I'm not bipolar. I'm just very passionate and very intense and I'm also pretty psychically open, right? So, um, and I'm not, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not passing judgment on anyone that, that, had, that does have that diagnosis. I, I, I'm not passing judgment on you. I'm not. Um, but, uh, 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 shit, sorry. I'm sorry if I've offended anybody there with that one. But you, uh, one of our life missions as a Leo rising is to really get in tune with our emotions. Our hearts are so big. We have to, we have to, be like the Queen of Cups here. And we have to look intently into our emotions and work that out for ourselves. Get in touch with them. Heal things for ourselves. Become comfortable with our big emotions. Become comfortable with our big hearts, okay? And I really do feel like you have done that. If you are resonating with this part of the reading. The Hierophant and the Sun. The Hierophant represents teaching and learning, okay, while also representing institutes, institutions of like marriage, government, and, and society, and all that stuff. But the, le but the message here, Leo, for those of you that are resonating with this, like you have been doing your inner work. And you, some of you have even stepped out of a karmic cycle because of it. You've stepped out of some sort of, yeah, that, that's all I'm going to say about it. You stepped out of a karmic cycle about it or uh, involved with this. And now you're in direct alignment with who you are and what it is you truly want. And it's bringing victory to you, Leo. I mean, like some insane victory, like too good to be true type shit for some people. The Empress. And for those of you that resonate more with the feminine side of energy, you are this empress at this point. Like, ain't nothing stopping your ass, but honey. <laughs> okay, woo, with the nine of cups underneath that. Yes, ma'am, I'll take me some, some of that, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, cool. So, Leo, let's get into the rest of this here. No. That's the four of pentacles. 
Um, but it was coming out and it was flipping over in reverse. Yeah, you really have let some things go. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a, a friendship, maybe it's a family situation, maybe it's a romantic situation. I don't know, but you really let some shit go. And the universe is like, because the Three of Cups was at the bottom of the deck at that point, and the universe was like, yes, let's celebrate. They're finally free. They freed themselves. Yeah, that's right, we did. Mm -hmm. Look at you, Leo. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what else we've got, yeah? Oops, Ooh, one more shuffle for my Leos. Okay, all right, cool. Let's get into this now. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this three shuffles. However, Spirit is saying this. There is a message that is very clear for you guys, for some, for you guys right now. The karmic energy has subsided and you are finally free. I want to give this five shuffles. So we're going to do that. Five. One. <clears throat> you worked your ass off for that, honey. Two. And for those of you that are still uh, dealing with, fucking around with karmic energies and whatnot... And are like, well, how do they do that? Why do I still have these karmic energies around me? Because, honey, you've got to work for it. Every step of the way. This is three. You cannot just throw your hands in the air and just say, all right, universe, take all this karmic energy away from me. No, you've got to take steps to get that karmic energy out. And that could really just be changing your alignment. But then also you're going to have to put up boundaries. You're going to have to, you're going to have to confront people. You're going to have to do that. You have to take the steps. The universe can't just do it for you. They can set you up for it, absolutely, but you're still gonna have to follow through too. That's why you're still dealing with this karmic energy. Four. Yeah, I see some of y'all are butthurt about that. Mm -hmm. Leo can be pretty prideful. Mm. Your ego's getting in the way, darling. Five. Okay. Let's cut the deck. Overall energy. Ooh, we've got the Knight of Wands. Someone's been activated here. Um, I am feeling Knight in Shining Armor type of energies. Yo, y'all, y'all love reading, man. Ooh. Mm. And if you don't know, you better go check out Patreon, man, and, and get yourself that love reading. <laughs> ah! Um, but this could be you in your activation riding forward. But this also, I'm feeling like this is somebody coming towards you, activated as well, okay? Your knight in shining armor or something like that. Underneath the knight of wands is the magician. Underneath the magician is the six of cups, pentacles, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles, and the, underneath the six of pentacles, ooh, is the hanged man. And the hanged man is in reverse in my deck again. Now, the hanged man came out in your love reading. It came out in the challenge section. For the most part, yes, for the most part, most of you have really dealt with this karmic energy and you have an understanding because underneath the hanged man is the three of swords. But there are others of you that are still tripping up on this shit. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. All right, so some of you are activated here. Knight of Wands, okay? But because you're activated in some way, I feel like some of you are really trying to manipulate a situation to get it to be reciprocal when it's not going to be. And that's where you're lacking in the enlightenment. Some of you are refusing this enlightenment, uh, enlightenment I'm hearing. Yup. There it is. There you, oh shit. Okay, there you are, Leo. Look at that. Strength. It's your ego that is getting in the way here. 
And I feel like for some of you, you are trying to engage in a situation and twist it and work it and manipulate it in certain ways to get someone or maybe a group of people even uh, to wake up and be reciprocal when they are not ready to do that. Underneath all of this, right, you have the Hanged Man, the Three of Swords, Strength. You also have Temperance. And Temperance also came out in your love reading. And it's all about alchemization. It's all about the fact that you have, you're, you're balancing, I'm hearing you're balancing karmic energies. So, okay, that's fine, but you're working, the, you're working it out. Okay, that's fine. But you can't force something to happen before it's ready to do so. And that's why you find yourself stuck here. The hanged man. And the enlightenment that you really need to be working on understanding for yourself is the fact that you just got to work on you. You can't worry about the other people in the process. You can only, all you really can control and need to control is your own alignment, your own vibration. You can't do this for somebody else. If somebody else refuses to wake up, unlike you, okay, look, we're not saying you're not woke, if you want to say it that way. But like, if other people refuse to wake up, you can't do it for them. You, no, it doesn't work that way here. Oh, okay. Now, for others of you, you y'all straight like no more, no more blockages for you. The hang, the her, the hanged man in reverse is speaking to the fact that you're there are no blockages anymore. You gained sufficient clarity. You gained sufficient understanding. You gained a sufficient sense of a change in perspective, and now you are litty lit lit and on your way. I like that. All right, Leo, let's get into the rest of this reading here for you. First half of your reading, first set of uh, surrounding energies, you have... Shut the fuck up. You have the Six of Wands again, but check it out. Watch the love reading. <laughs> Yo, this is so good for you guys, Leo. Oh, you have got a victory coming to you, honey. Ooh. And I'm hearing success on your own could very well be, hey, hey, even if you're not even interested in love and you're just doing you, you're doing your own thing, man, you have a right to feel this happy, this successful, this good about yourself. You might be getting some serious recognition from it. People around you might be really noticing your glow up, man. And there's nothing they can do to stop you. Y'all. Six of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the Tower. Oh shit, Leo, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Yo, straight up and down though, like you have successfully destroyed this karmic structure. Some of you have, most of you haven't, okay? A lot of the people that might be, uh, I'm thinking there might, you might be really, if you might be really new to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to stay because this is what you're looking for, okay? Let me and those of us that really do resonate with this energy resonate, that really do resonate with this, be an example for you. That's part of my life mission. I am, I am here to live as an example. Yo, straight up, y'all. I packed my ass, my pretty little ass, and said, bye, Felicia, I'm moving to Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, burn that fucker down. Uh, listen to Funhouse by Pink. Funhouse by Pink. Burn that fucker down. Some of y'all did, and man, are you getting all the success in the world. Happiness, even. Contentment, clarity. For some of you, this Six of Wands energy ain't really all that. It's just a feeling of serenity and peace within yourself because you don't have this nasty, toxic, narcissistic structure in your life completely obliterating your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is so good. Yes, you can take just a simple sense of serenity and inner peace as an extreme victory. For sure. Mm. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. There's that Queen of Wands again. Y'all, I shuffled this shit five times. So, <laughs> um, but you're in direct, direct alignment with what it is that you want. And now that you've cleared away this space, also for, for a lot of you, part of this victory is you having cleared away this space so that now that you're in your direct alignment, now that you're working with the, the, the law of attraction, because I see the Queen of Wands as the 
physical embodiment of the law of attraction because she is receptive and she just gets into alignment with what she wants and lets it come to her. Well, now that you are in this alignment or can get into this alignment, you have cleared all this space for what it is that you want to truly come to you. And, and take it as an example, right before I moved to Puerto Rico, I spent two months in lockdown in Brooklyn because of the pandemic. And through those two months, I went through an extreme purging process where I felt like I was, I was depressed like I was when I was a teenager again, right? But it was literally clearing away, and this was a, 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 a purging process that had, that had heavy roots in betrayal. And so um, when I had to clear all that away so that when I came to Puerto Rico, I would have the energetic capacity to receive all of the shit that, yo, Puerto Rico is just like blessing my ass day after day. I couldn't be more grateful for it, okay? You heard me, all right. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, I'm hearing you're letting your process grow. You're letting things develop. You're staying in your alignment while you allow your crops to grow, while you have, allow the seeds that you've planted to grow. You need to stay in that energy because that is generating a very good outcome for you, a very favorable outcome for you. Don't worry about the process. Don't worry about when it's going to happen. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Don't worry about why it's going to happen. Don't even worry about who it's going to happen with or where it's going to come from, blah, blah, blah. You just stay in that feeling place, honey, because that feeling place has already brought you here, right? So just stay with it. You can trust the universe. The universe is providing to you everything that you need. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Leo. Interesting. The Eight of Swords. Uh, for some of you, it is staying out of a mental prison. Don't, don't lock yourself up. Don't lock yourself up in the what ifs I'm wanting to say. I'm hearing mockery. I, I want to say someone is making a mockery of you or of this situation. And that could be very well be because you're here in this seven of wands energy and someone out, someone out there is super jealous and chicken necking and is trying to like cage you up, is trying to twist the situation and make it seem like, you know, it, it <clears throat> puts you in a cage in some way. Toxic energy. Don't allow that to happen. Keep in mind that if you ever do find yourself in a cage or like in some sort of situation in which people are saying things or using words to kind of box you in, um, you have to tie you up and box you in, right? And blindfold you and blind other people to the truth, okay? Keep in mind that you have eight swords surrounding you so that you can cut yourself free from those, from those bindings. Take that blindfold off of yourself and, sh and shimmy your way out of that. You don't have to stay here. I, I feel like, I really feel like the, the challenge here for you, Leo, is other people that are in this Eight of Swords state of mind. No, that doesn't bother you. You're here. The magician. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can create the any, you can literally create anything you wanted to. And it's not like these people can't either. But they're in this situation trying to stay with the status quo, the Hierophant, mm -hmm. in this mental cage. Not you, boo. Nope. I'm good. I, whatever. Gosh. That sucks. You might want to do something about that. Ooh. <laughs> Eight of Swords is coupled with... The Ace of Swords. You know the truth. You've got the clarity. You're in alignment. Don't let these, don't let these sorry motherfuckers try and, and fuck you up now. Bitch, please. I ain't got no time for that shit, says the Queen of Wands. Lord have mercy. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading. Eight of Wands, y'all. Yes. The air is open and clear. Uh, communication. A message is coming. A message is coming. Something you've been waiting on hearing for a long time. But the air is clear for you. The universe is saying this. Okay. The air is clear for you to make your moves and set out on your endeavors, take your voyages, do whatever it is you want to do. Some of you want to travel. Some of you want to move. And no, you're not being selfish for it. I'm going to say that again. Some of you want to travel. Some of you want to move. 
and you've got these narcissistic people around you telling you you can't do that. That's selfish. Why would you do that at this point? Fuck them. Look, I understand we're in a pandemic. Take your precautions. Do whatever it needs you to, need to do. Whatever you need to do. If you don't want to fly, then fucking drive. If you've got to fly, okay, you've got to fly. Wear your mask. I mean, like, take your precautions, obviously. But don't... Okay. Mental prison. Oh, 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 okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Eight of Wands is coupled with... The star. Wish fulfillment. I heard dreams coming true. The air is clear for you to get on that flight and go to your next destination. The air is clear for you to get on that boat and go to your next destination. The air is clear for you to get in that car and drive off into the sunset, even if you're leaving someone's sorry ass behind. Do you, boo-boo. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to move over to part two. Uh, part two is found on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. If you'd like to get in on that, I have two, two tiers on Patreon. The first tier is the $5 is $5 a month, which is strictly only spirit monthly messages. Part two, uh, $7 a month. The top tier is an official patron. You get everything. You get everything. Spirit monthlies and all the other stuff that I do. Yeah. So. We're going to do that. I'm going to get into part two here for you. And if this is where we part ways, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're new, it's so great to meet you. Um, and I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I am available for personal readings. So if you'd like to get a personal reading, just find my email down below. Please email me. It's better to email me if for a personal reading than to hit me up on Instagram or something. But even if you do hit me up on Instagram, um, I'm just going to ask for your email address anyway. So you're better off just e emailing me because that's how I, how I send my invoices for payment through PayPal and all that. So email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of that information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>